Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Predications Daily Tech Tips. And in today's tech tip, we're learning how to get Google Maps driving directions. Now, Google Maps has come a long, long way since it was launched. And now it's actually capable of giving you accurate driving directions to most places around the world. So to get Google Maps driving directions, the first thing you need to do is make sure location is turned on for Google Maps. So go to settings. And then scroll all the way down to google maps tap on google maps and then tap on location and then choose to have location turned on for google maps at least while you're using the app once that's done go back to google maps and now it's time to look for your driving directions now if you're already driving please pull over and stop you don't want to use your phone while driving that could cause accidents so pull over and then go to your iphone and pull up google maps and then search for the destination or the place you want to go in the search bar up here. Make sure you find the name, if it's a clinic or a hospital or, or a restaurant, make sure you find out where it is. Now, as you enter the name of the place that you want to go to, Google Maps will give you different suggestions, generally depending on your user activity and your general location. So I'm going to find the exact place that I want to go to, which is this one. So I'm going to tap on it. And as soon as I do that, Google will pull up the exact location of that place with a red marker. And it also gives me some more useful information about the place around to visit. For instance, since I'm going to get Roots Clinic in Roca, it tells me that it's approximately 1 hour 15 minutes from where I am. And it also tells me that it closes at 8 p.m. And now if I want to get directions from where I am, simply tap on directions. Now, the first thing it does is gets you the easiest or the fastest route to where you're going. And it's going to mark that in blue. Then it also gives you some alternative routes with their timestamps. For instance, according to Google Maps, the easiest way to get there is through this blue line and that will take me 1 hour 15 minutes. But I can also use these other routes. The grey one on the left will take me 1 hour 20 minutes. The grey one on the right will take me 1 hour 21 minutes. Now, if you want to use another route other than the one Google Maps has suggested, simply tap on the timestamp of the other route. So for instance, if I want to use the route on the left, simply tap on the timestamp and that will select the route on the left. If I want the route on the right, simply tap on that timestamp and it's going to select for me the route on the right. Now I can check specific details of any route that I've selected by tapping on steps. And that will tell me every step that I need to take, where I need to turn right, for how long I need to drive straight and things like that. Specific details about the route I've selected are going to be right here. Then you can use this to decide whether you really want to use that route. So I can just slide that back down. And once I choose the route I want to use, I can simply tap on start. Head south. And Google Maps will start telling me where to go, when to turn, and how to turn, and where to go until I get to my destination. Now, if I don't want Google Maps talking to me via sound, I just want to look at the map and see where I'm going, I can simply tap on this icon and then select mute, and that will mute the Google Assistant that's telling me where I need to go. Now, you do have a couple of more options during navigation. Simply pull this bottom menu up. Now, from here, as you can see, I can be able to control my Apple Music if I want to, right inside Google Maps. I can share my trip progress. For instance, if someone is waiting for me where I'm going, I can share my trip progress with them and they can be able to see from their own Google Maps app where I am and how I'm coming so they can know when to expect me and they can see my ETA and they don't have to keep calling me to ask me how far I've come. And then the second option is search a long route. And this option lets you search for restaurants and gas stations and grocery stores along the route you've selected. So if you need to pick up something or buy something along the way, that will help you. And then you can also go to settings and select which route you want to use. If you want your Google Maps to avoid tolls and avoid motorways, avoid ferries, things like that, you can choose how your map is displayed, whether you want it in night mode or day mode, or you want it to be automatic to select for itself. Things like that. You can book parking upfront if that feature is available in your country and things like that. But that's generally how to get Google Maps driving directions. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section below the video. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris and I'll talk to you guys soon.